This year, the coronavirus has been harmful upon the entire entertainment industry. Movie theaters have been for a long time a major source of entertainment for all ages. Due to cinemas closing because of COVID-19, the global box office has dropped by billions of dollars and streaming has become more popular. Deprived of cinema for three months, Quebecers began to return to theaters reluctantly on July 3rd. Okay, so my name is Benjamin Cote and I work at the uh, Cinema Gruzo as an assistant manager. I've been working at Cinema Gruzo uh, since June of 2019 and it's been a year and five months. Uh, my job is to make sure the clients get the right type of service for their movies. So all I do is manage the, uh, the employees, make sure that they're providing their services and doing their work well, as well as also make sure that any sort of problems are solved so that the clients can have the best experience possible. Before the reopening of their theaters, the owners of movie theaters were all overwhelmed with preparations. A lot of different measures had to be taken to prevent the spread of the virus. Here are some examples. They had to install stations in every key area for washing hands, clean and disinfect the rooms much more often, ensure a physical distance of at least two meters between the seats, stagger show hours to reduce the number of people in common areas, encourage the purchase of tickets online, and prohibit access to arcade or game rooms. I think that our cinema or our Guzo reacted somewhat well as they have taken a lot of precautions, including getting a, their own product that disinfects and it works effectively and it's able to be used by the, our employees pretty well as it is a spray. So I would say that depending on the cinema, I haven't seen every single cinema, but depending on the cinema, most of them, I would say reacted pretty well and were able to manage COVID despite the the new sanitary precautions. Though the following question arose, will a capacity of 50 people per theater be sufficient to make the reopening of cinemas profitable when rent and fixed costs remain the same? Releasing one or two big movies a month would help theaters get larger audiences. Unfortunately, companies also must deal with a number of factors over which they have no control, including a shortage of blockbusters from Hollywood studios. Numerous films, some of the most anticipated of the year, like Black Widow, have been postponed without specifying a release date. So in my opinion, I think that most theaters will stay closed because we have 28 days of quarantine, but I'm guessing that will get extended to be a bit longer. In general, the biggest change that occurred to theaters is uh, probably the, the amount of people coming in because with COVID, uh, there's less interesting movies that are coming out. Most movies have been delayed, so less people are coming in based on movies. There's also the fact that a lot of people are scared of coming into cinemas when it's, you know, there's a risk of getting COVID. And in general, there's just less people. We have less staff working to compensate for the last, less, uh, like a, the lower amount of uh, clients coming in. This summer, while waiting for American productions to come, Guzzo Theatres presented a selection of Quebec and international films. Vincent Guzzo, the president, also decided to project cinema classics and other popular films of previous years, prioritizing movies for the whole family because that's what always works best. In my opinion, I think it'll take a full year before anything comes anywhere near what normal was before COVID, uh, because COVID has really changed how things work and with the lack of movies coming out due to COVID and pushing back the you know movies and make them come out later, we don't have any interesting movies. So for things to come back to normal and have the same flow of clients as we used to, I'd say a full year so that people can get used to the the idea of the virus being around and for things to for us to take the right precautions to make sure things are safe even with the virus around. So in my personal opinion, I think it's a good idea that theaters stay closed. This is because with movies coming out like way later and being delayed and people being scared to come into any sort of public places. The, there's not enough clients to make theaters be viable and enough money that they, you know, is profitable. So in that sense, it also makes sense to you know, keep them closed. It also makes sense because it's hard to manage uh, sometimes how many people come in and if they're actually being respecting the, the restrictions of COVID inside the halls. So therefore, I think it's better to just keep everyone safe and make sure that the cinema stay in business for future uh, by just keeping cinemas closed until it's safe. Let's hope movie theaters fill up again after COVID-19 because it's not yet time to write off the movie industry. There will be plenty of room for industry growth as soon as popular content arrives. 
We will continue to explore the impact of COVID-19 in next week's episode on music festivals. See you then!